Well, health care has been making headlines in Washington, but several kids were just in Washington, D.C. to advocate for one disease which, which affects more than one million Americans. ABC 7's Erica Jackson introduces us to a teen who took his fight straight to the Capitol. Dozens of kids and teens are returning from Washington after lobbying for more type 1 diabetes research. One of them is from here in Sarasota, and he wants Congress to continue to support funding to help find a cure. In between jam sessions, 15 year old Reed Spahn takes a quick break to check his blood sugar readings. That's because he has type 1 diabetes and his body can't break down glucose due to an inactive pancreas. It really destroys all the organs in the body if they have those high blood sugars running all the time. His meter reads 247 because he just ate lunch. And I believe the insulin pump and the CGM have made my numbers uh, much more manageable. But Reed only needs to prick his finger about three times a day because his continuous glucose monitoring system, or CGM, takes blood sugar readings every five minutes while attached to his body. With the CGM, I can see my numbers constantly, helps with overnight care. It takes a blood glucose reading every five minutes and transmits it to his phone and our phones as well so that we can see what his blood sugar is. Reed and his mother Stacy say the latest technology was developed thanks to the special diabetes program, a federal measure providing $150 million per year for type 1 diabetes research. The goal is to help find better treatment, therapies and eventually a cure. Even though we've got all this great new technology, um, there are still really scary real health risks that are involved with type 1 diabetes. Reed and others living with diabetes spent three days in the U.S. Capitol, asking Congress to renew the program instead of letting it expire later this year. Spreading awareness for type 1 is extremely important because then it informs people about uh, how difficult it really is and how much we really need to increase funding for research for a cure. The special diabetes program is set to expire on September 30th if Congress does not renew that research program. Reporting in Sarasota, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.